Hey everybody, this is Nick, and today we are going to run through the top 10 things that we should be doing for fixed ops in the digital space in 2018. There's a huge amount of opportunities. We've got to slowly grow our market share back, and let's talk about a few things that we can do with our agency's help, possibly, that can help do that. Let's start off talking about some organic strategies. Uh, if you're new to the digital space, organic potentially can mean free. Um, a little bit more of sweat equity uh, than dollars goes into some of these tactics, but they're just as valuable, if not more valuable, some of the things that we pay for on a monthly basis. The first one that's really, really important that we need to be paying attention to and start with is our business listings in 2018. Google's made some big changes to the business listings recently. Most specifically, we can now have multiple hours of operation listed. This has always been a challenge for us where we were listing maybe service hours to open and sales hours to close, and it's very confusing for our customers. So uh, we can now have two sets of hours so they can clearly see sales are open at X, services open at Y. Uh, so we, if you haven't done that, make sure you check it out and uh, go into your Google uh, back end and add that in or get with your agency and have them do that for you. The other big thing that often is missed is some of the categories that we can drop into our business listing to help us show more often for search results. Uh, we often do a great job of making sure, let's say we have Toyota dealer uh, as a category or used car dealer as a category for sales. We need to do the same thing for service. I'm not, I've noted a couple uh, key ones on the service side that you should probably add in like oil uh, auto repair shop, oil change service, and tire shop, but there might be a few more. Uh, the one thing I do encourage you to do is kind of take a look at what the biggest stores in town are, what categories are they listed at uh, in their Google business page. Because if you didn't know, this is our number one organic traffic uh, referrals for our website. The next thing we could do is business listing specials. Um, this is done through Google Plus, and it allows you to do a couple different things, post offers and events. Uh, depending on what you choose, that's how long it will last on the page. But absolutely, again, because of the visibility that this map pack and the search results when someone's searching for a uh, Toyota dealer location or your dealership name, whenever that map pack shows, map pack shows up on the far right of the page in Google search, um, it's a great real estate to say, hey, we've got good deals going on. So there should be some sales ones, but Absolutely, we need some service offers there too. So make sure that they're matching what we're mailing to our customers and what's on our website as well. Third tactic revolves around making sure our site is awesome. You know, we see people spend a ton of time in doing research online before they do service with us. We need to be that authority too. And so let's make sure that we have key content pages that are going to educate, educate our customers like Toyota Care, Toyo Guard, Safety Sense, but also those key retention products like tires, battery brakes, oil changes, wiper blades, um, and potentially even a dare to compare. We shop the competition so you don't have to page. Those are the things that we want to start with, but every single month, let's think about new things that we can add to the page so we get to the point where we have as much service content as we do sales content on our website. The other thing I want to call out when we talk about content on our website is how we build that page too. This is a great one if you want to take a look at it. It's got a video up at the top. People love to consume videos, so we're giving them that option. There's some multiple different calls to action throughout the page, so we're giving them some good insights on um, tires. There's an offer here where they can actually, uh, I think, do a tire configurator below, but there's a schedule service here. There's an order of parts here. There's a contact us. Uh, the directions, hours of operation, everything is really consistent, clear, and so no matter what the next step for service customer is, they can find it on this page. And so that's something to really keep in mind as you build out and add more of these pages to your website too. What's the next step for the customer? The fourth tactic is digital coupons. Think about how we shop, how we engage with businesses today. When I fly uh, out, at a, out of Atlanta, my Delta app, I've got the boarding pass right on my phone. My wife goes and buys Starbucks in the morning. She scans her phone. When we go see a movie, the next Avengers movie, 
our tickets are on our phone. That's the way the customers want to engage. So if you haven't talked about digital coupons, you want to see more engagement in some of the offers you give, this is the way to do it. So your websites in 2018 need to absolutely be equipped with Apple Wallet and Android Pay, uh, Android Passbook options for them to save those coupons. There's going to be a whole plethora of opportunities once those coupons are saved to send messages to the customers in the future. But the first step is just getting them those coupons on their phone where they absolutely want them. Fifth thing that we can do that's absolutely free is reviews. A lot of our stores have been talking about reviews for years and years and years, but a lot of the conversation uh, happens on the new car side and the used car side. But in reality, customers really care the most where there's a little bit of lack of trust, and that's on the service side. And so we need more service reviews, and we need you guys to request them. Have every advisor ask two or three customers a day, not everybody, but the ones that they really feel like are happy, raving fans, and let's get those reviews for the service departments. And once we have them, let's merchandise them. Let's share them in point of sales material in the dealership. Let's share them in our responses and email. Uh, to our customers. Let's put them on our website and our newsletters and all the different strategies that we have going out that say, hey, we're a great place to service our your Toyota vehicle with. And here's a couple customers that are in your town that are backing that up. The sixth thing we need to think about is video. Video, video, video. This replaces the face-to-face -face because you can hear the tone of my voice you can see my facial expressions. And so if there's ever a, a big question mark or a big concern that a customer has, video is often a phenomenal tool to answer or solve that issue. What do I mean? I mean, if you're about to do a major repair, show them the problem with a video. If you're trying to educate the customer on when is a good time to you know, get new tires, use a video. So think about maybe one or two videos, if you can start creating one or two videos a month that can be used in follow-up, um, used as knowledge on your website, absolutely let's start doing that. Number seven, this is something that the directors, um, maybe the BDC departments can help you with, and that's shopping your competition. How are they responding when they get a request for a service appointment on their website? What does their website look like? And again, this doesn't need to be necessarily just your competing Toyota or Honda or Nissan or Ford dealers, but this could also be those Jiffy Lubes of the world too, to see what, what knowledge are they sharing with the customer? Can we do the same thing? Let's make sure our experience is as good, if not better, every single month, month in, month out. And the best way to do that is to shop them on a monthly basis to see their prices, to see their experience, their communication patterns, and the knowledge that they share. The eighth tip is uh, a financial one that you're going to have to take, and that revolves around paid search. A lot of stores have started to do this, but um, quite a few have not. And reality is when it, someone's looking for an oil change or for tires, a, a deal on tires or something like that, in many cases the first place they go is to Google, just like the first place they go for a lot of their questions is Google. And so if we want to get more opportunities and cracks at the bat, we need to be there. The problem in the past has been it's really, really expensive, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars sometimes to get customers from that ad to your website. And at the end of the day, some of these services are not <laughs> paying that uh, to justify that cost. Well, the, the good news is now there's a new tool through Google that we're making available for sales and for service, and it's called Custom Audiences. And so if someone's searching for, let's say, an oil change coupon, I don't want to show an oil change coupon uh, ad to everybody, but I now, through Custom Audiences, can just show that offer or that ad to my customers, the folks that have bought and serviced from me in the past to make sure that that audience is a lot smaller and it's more efficient because again, I'm only driving Toyota buyers and owners to my website for Toyota Tire offers. And so have a conversation if you haven't with your agency about doing custom audiences for big service terms like oil changes, batteries, brakes, tires, things like that. The ninth tactic is around Facebook. 
Facebook is our number one media source out there today. There's more people on Facebook in any given moment in your in your town than local TV or radio or driving by billboards or reading the newspaper. Um, and so it's a great place to get good messages out there. And just like we talked about with paid search, or that's a question answer they're looking. This is a little bit more intrusive because they're talking to their friends and family, but we can still use custom audiences, meaning I can target customers down to very specific people, very specific lists. Um, that's already happening now. Um, if you're on the DS Plus program, we're, we're testing right now uh, some custom audiences around Toyota Care, Toyota Guard, non-responders. And so that's happening on your behalf. That's something I encourage you guys to continue. But there's always other things that we can add, right? Um, if we're slow on Wednesdays, let's put an offer out there to get some more traffic on Wednesdays. If there's a big tire sale, things like that, let's go after a specific list with a specific message, a specific coupon that's going to attract them to come into our dealership and do service with us. The last tactic is around newsletters. This is just staying top of mind with your customer base. Uh, over 90 dealers and SET are now signed up with DS Plus. Uh, in many cases, you're probably one of them. Are you guys adding good quality service content? Not just offers, but knowledge to your customer on a monthly basis that gives them interest in potentially coming back to you and doing service with you? Are you educating them on the values that you bring, the parts, the trained technicians, things like that, the data compares? This is a phenomenal tool that's already probably available to most of you. You just got to put good content in there. So communicate with your marketing manager. The general manager probably is already tied in um, to this newsletter, and they can help you get some additional value in there. So that's the top 10 tips. There's one more bonus tip. The bonus tip is if you're not available, there is a tool that SET and TMS makes available to most dealers if you've opted in, and it's called the Three Birds Report. The Three Birds Report goes over a lot of these generic tactics of searching result pages and reputation management and content on your website and social media that we talked to a little bit briefly and maybe a little bit different way, uh, but it's giving you a grade on a quarterly basis. If you haven't looked at this report, absolutely do it because at the end of the day, half this report is service. Uh, and so it's going to give you a quick snapshot of some big service opportunities, whether it's adding a tire page, um, making sure a said tire page shows up in Google search for free, those things. And if you're not seeing that happen, that's a question you can ask your agency and see if they can help improve that. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your district fixed ops manager or your 22 squared rep. We're here to help. Have a great day.